Hi, James here from Wiggle. Today we're going to be having a closer look at the new ASICS Glide Ride 2. So this is the Glide Ride 2, so it's obviously the second version, the first version of the shoe only hitting us last year, so it's nothing like the Gel K on it that's hitting almost 30 iterations. So this is a fairly fresh shoe to the market. As you can see, there isn't massive changes from what we saw from the Glide Ride 1 last year, but nonetheless, there are some changes in there. So let's dive in and have a look. So the Glide Ride 2 is designed primarily to get you to run longer distances more comfortably. And it's a neutral shoe. So for those of you out there looking to get a more comfortable longer distance run, this is gonna be a good shoe to start looking at. So let's have a look at what this shoe has to offer. We'll start at the top and work our way down. So initially the laces I like already, and this is quite a common thing to see in running shoes now, but they are slightly stretchy laces and that's really good for a few reasons. As it gives your foot a really snug fit in the shoe without being really constricting and feeling like it's gonna cut off any blood supply, for example. And it also allows your foot to swell a little bit and move around in the shoe without it again feeling too constricting. So a nice touch on the laces there. As with a lot of ASIC shoes, having a really plush cushioned interior is a right priority. And you can tell this is definitely the case with the Glide Ride 2, as the tongue is super plush and cushioned, and that goes all the way down to where the laces finish there. So it's gonna give you a really soft upper on the top there, which is a really nice touch. So the Glide Ride 2 features an engineered mesh upper, which is gonna be super breathable, but it's also gonna have loads of flex in there as well. So it's gonna accommodate loads of different shapes of feet and keep those comfort levels really high. And I think this is actually one of the bigger, better improvements from what we saw from the Glide Ride last year. So moving to the back of the shoe, you can see that visually it has that huge heel counter there. And that not only looks pretty beefy, but as you can tell as well, that is an absolutely solid heel counter there. And you might think that that might make the shoe fairly uncomfortable, but ASICS being ASICS, it comes with this really plush cushioned liner in the heel there, that's also very well shaped, so you're gonna get a really good heel lock, which is what you want for those longer distance runs, as well as it being really plush from the cushioning, as well as that actual outer counter giving you that really structured support. So it's gonna give you the best of a lot of worlds there, which is what I really like to see in a shoot like this. So now with the Glide Ride, where it gets most interesting is in the midsole and the outsole. So let's have a look at that now. So one of the first things you notice when you have this shoe in your hand is the fact that that midsole is actually really quite stiff especially when you're trying to move the shoe torsionally. This is what ASICs are calling their guide sole technology, and this is primarily designed to reduce ankle flex, which in theory should lessen muscle fatigue. Having that stiffer shaped midsole then wouldn't work quite so comfortably without changing the shape of the shoe itself. So as you can see here, they've changed the shape of that toe roll off, which is gonna allow you to have that natural running stride back. So it's basically just acting as a really big rocker to just help your foot roll through its stride. So all of these features really make for this shoe being one of the smoothest running shoes out there for long distance runs. So if you've got any problems with your ankles, this could be a really good option to have a look at. Moving down to the midsole, it's made from that ASICS classic flight foam. We've seen it for a while, but it's really good. And it's a really durable one that keeps going for many miles. And we know it's been around for a few years now and it offers really good cushioning and responsiveness. And it's also a really durable one, so it keeps going mile after mile. And then if you actually look to the outsole of the shoe, you can see it has this green line running through it and the colors change for the different colors of shoes you get. But this is actually a harder TPU plastic plate that runs through the bottom of the shoe. And this actually acts as just a little bit of a spring, so it's gonna give you that little bit more energy return from every stride, which we all want the most from. And then when we move to the outsole, we can see that it's got this really nice strategically placed rubber just with all the main contact points with the ground. So it's gonna keep the weight down when you need it to, but it's also gonna keep that grip for where you need it as well. So there you have it, the Glide Ride 2. What do you think to it? Is it gonna be a contender for one of your next shoes? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, then consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.